uh, welcome all uh, in today's uh, topic we'll be discussing about uh, boolean algebra and within this boolean algebra so what we'll do is we'll try to prepare a table of combinations for the following boolean uh, expression so that is we'll prepare a table of combination uh, for the boolean algebra uh, for example uh, we'll be taking x y z bar plus x bar y bar and then z so when we carefully understand or look into this particular boolean algebra uh, will be we are having three combinations so therefore what i'll do is i'll prepare a table which consists of three combinations of the values uh, that is x y z and we need to carefully observe this if there is x and if there is x bar then i need to go for x bar first and then again y is there y bar is there so therefore i need to go for y bar z is there again z bar is there so therefore uh, z is not there but of course z bar is there so this is the basic combination that you have to write it in order to arrive at z bar so the next thing that what you will what you have to do is again you have to go from left to right so therefore what i'll say i'll say it as x y z bar and after that uh, i have to find out this particular value that is x bar y bar and z and in addition to that i have to follow or i have to evaluate these two things so therefore what i'll do i'll say uh, x y z bar plus x bar y bar z so now what i'll do i'll write the uh, i'll prepare the uh, table over here followed by this like this i will prepare the table and once that is done uh, what i'll do i'll draw a line over here now i need to write the combinations of this so initially it is starts with 0 0 0 and then it is 0 0 uh, 1 and then it is uh, 0 1 uh, 0 and here it is 1 uh, 0 0 after uh, yeah it is 1 0 0 I mean sorry uh, this is 0 uh, after uh, this is 1 and again this is 1 over here so the next thing is uh, I'll write it over here this is 1 and this is also 1 and after that you do have 1 0 0 and then it, you do have 1 0 1 and then you have 1 1 0 and then 1 1 1 so this is the if i want to write the decimal value so then it, this is the value of binary terms of 0 and this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 this is 6 and this is 7 now let me take up an example and show you like how this particular conversion is usually done so the numerical value or the decimal value of this particular uh, combinations is 7. So how do I write it? Uh, I'll write it over here. 7 what you will do is you will take up and you will divide it by 2. Uh, 2 3 is a 6 the remainder is 1. 2 1 is a 2 so therefore the remainder is 1. And after that you will write it in the reverse manner. So therefore it becomes 1 1 1. So let me take up randomly again uh, this uh, 3 and uh, try to tell and show you like how it is 0 1 1 so i'll take up 3 and then i'll start dividing it by 2 so 2 1s are 2 so the remainder is 1 so you go in the reverse manner it becomes uh, 1 1 the leading values will always be equal to 0 similarly uh, if i take up this particular 5 so now here i'll take up 5 i'll start dividing it by 2 so 2 2s are 4 the remainder is 1 so 2 1s are 2 so therefore the remainder is 0 you will go in the reverse direction so therefore it is 1 0 1 so therefore this particular value is 1 0 1 so like this what we will do is we will write the complement of uh, x over here uh, we will just change the values of uh, if it is 0 then it will become 1 if it is 1 then it will become uh, 0 
so here it is 1 1 1 uh, 1 and again followed by zeros because all those things are ones now y bar so here it will become 1 1 0 0 1 1 and again 0 0 so this is how uh, this particular y bar is uh, written and the next thing is z bar so z bar is uh, 1 0 1 uh, 0 uh, here it is 0 so therefore it is 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 so therefore you need to write the complement of it now what i'll do i'll take up this x y and z bar i need to take up this x y and z bar and do an and symbol so in the and symbol if any one of the terms is zero then the resulting value is also zero so here what we do is we get zero because uh, the two different terms are zero so therefore again, again if i take up these values then again it is zero so if i proceed in the same manner so then all the values would be zero except this particular value why because when you take up this column value it is one and when you take up this column value it is one and when i take up this particular column value it is one so therefore the resulting is the resulting value is also one and after that uh, again it is zero similarly i'll take up this x bar y bar and z so x bar is this one y bar is this one and z is this one so therefore these three values and i'll do an and symbol so any one of these values is zero then the resulting value is also zero uh, and if i take up this value all three values or column values are one so therefore i'll say it as one and the remaining values are always zero why because one of the column values is zero so therefore the remaining things is also zero now what i'll do i'll do an or symbol based on this that is plus and here one more important thing that you have to understand is the priority so in the priority so what what you have to do is you have to give importance to a bracket first the next thing is not operator and uh, the third one is and operator and then the last one is uh, or operator so here the not is represented by bar or either a tilt or a dash and op and operator is usually represented by a dot or operator is represented by a symbol called as plus and bracket as it is it is represented now over here what i'll do is i'll take up x y z bar and plus x bar y bar z means to say i'll do an or operation between these two elements so therefore here it is zero uh, zero plus one is one and uh, remaining elements are uh, zero except at this particular element that, that is the last but one one so therefore it is one and then it is zero so this is how what you will do is you will prepare a table for three values for a given uh, boolean algebraic expression thank you